Hello friends, in today's video we'll be looking at designing this uh, watch hub and uh, our focus mainly is how to get this uh, shape, trapezium shape in our design. Alright, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing now and click on that notification icon so that you will not miss any future video like this. Okay, so I have Visual Studio 2019 open uh, right here and uh, what I've done is to update the marine forms to 4.7 so you can go ahead and do that and also i have a view model here in this view model uh, i have two properties i have the product and i have i have the menu so this was going to display a list of products and this list of menu and i have a method here called get menu so it's to give or return this list of menu and uh, also we have uh, this observable collection to get products going to return new products this is the mvvm uh high notify property change implementation and also i have two class embedded here the product class and the menu class all right so that is what defines our view model and also in the hub.xaml i have to set uh, the flag shapes underscore experimental because shapes is still currently in experimental and we need to use it all right so um, let's see how to design our page. I'm going to start this in the, in the emulator so that we can use auto reload to see our design. All right. So I'll go to the main page. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, set the binding context of this page. I want the binding context of this page to actually be uh, the view model. So uh, we're going to do uh, content page, the so finding context, I set it to this view model, and we're going to resolve this namespace and add the view model namespace, which we have right at the top. All right. So uh, the next thing is uh, to set the background color of our page. The background color of our page is f5 f6 f6 so i'm going to set the background color to f5 f6 f6 okay so now that we have that um we want to start with a parent grade so i will save this so that i can see it's uh show sure. all right so we have our page so uh, i'm going to start with a grid uh, parent grid and right inside this grid I want to create another grid so this is a parent grid and I'm using this because we, do, we want to create a menu that wants to fly out so um, let's create another grid now this grid will have four rows uh, spacing of 30 row spacing of 30 and padding of 30 so let's give it four rows auto 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 and star and in this grid on the first row you want to have the menu item so we have image button for the menu and we have label in the second so we have a grid that is divided into three columns we have the button image button in the first column label in the second column and image in the third column so i'm going to save this so this is what defines this is the definition of what we've done so, so these are images i'm going to go to definition of this so i will not forget um, definition of this okay let's just ignore the red line all right so we have that then looking at the prototype the next thing is this uh, part so this is going to be a grid divided into two we have a frame we have a frame here that frame will have these two stuck together and we have another uh, image on this side so we will make use of ellipse on this side too all right so we have a grid just in the second row so we have a grid second row and uh, in that grid we have a frame 
So that frame, we are stacking two things together. We want to stack a part and a label. So this part is um, what is defining the search uh, icon. So that is, this is the data, the very long data. And the label is what is saying search. Let me bring this to your screen. So this is a long data, as you can see, very long. Can break it down. And also in the second, so this grid, this grid that is in the second column now has uh, two column definition. So that this second row rather has two column definition uh, to put this in the first column and this in the second column. This will be in the second column. And in the second column we have ellipse that is white and we have an image on top of it. All right. So as you can see, we have this. So this is the, this is the second row that has it that's in a grid, in a frame, stuck together. This part and the text. So this is the part. This is the text, and uh, we have uh, this icon, this ellipse, and this icon. All right. So in the third row, in the third row of this uh, of this grid, the third row of this grid, we want to have. Uh, another grid that is in the third row we want to set the grid to have two uh, columns with this spacing we are setting this text popular and with this attribute this will be in the first column and another image that is the dots in the second column so let's save so you see we have popular and we have dots all right so in in the fourth row now we now need uh we need a collection view we need a collection view and uh, i want to make use of my code snippet if you have not if you have not got my code snippet check my video that is titled code snippet i'm going to make use of a code snippet of a grid to rows do tap tap so this will give me uh a grid as a of two columns i'm going to remove the header I don't need the header i'm going to set this to none and the binding of this i want it to be to products products and uh, i'm going to remove this spacing okay and uh one other thing I want to do is to add uh, the data templates here. So in our data templates, we are going to start with a grid. Data template is going to start with a grid. So if I save this now, the one unsupported edit okay, and there are some more here I'm going to undo, undo. okay um let's of this okay so this will be don't forget this will be in the uh third row the fourth row rather this will be in the fourth row i'm gonna save okay so this is what we have and we can see that we have uh, this grid uh, showing here if we decide to set the uh vertical and horizontal spacing are uh, right here you will be able to see uh, the the real difference um, so let's see let's just set uh, set the vertical item spacing let's set to 10 you will see that this will be divided you see uh, if i set the horizontal spacing to 10 See that we can see our space all right but uh i don't need this space eventually so i'm going to remove 
I'm going to remove this uh, spaces, the spacing. All right. So let's leave it like this. So let's define uh, our height term so I can see. So the first thing is um, the grid. So we want to make use of a grid for this. We'll make use of a grid. So uh, that's the first thing. So this is this grid that we have here. Inside this grid now, um, we want to put a grid. And inside that grid, we have an, we have ellipse and we have a path. Because this grid is in, is divided into two rows. Uh, this is the first row. And this is the second row. Let's space this. So in this grid now, we have this grid horizontal is set to end, vertical is start. We have ellipse. We have ellipse as a circle that is filled to red and we have a path this path is what is showing the uh, favorite sign that is the add sign let's see so as you can see we have a red ellipse and we have the uh, heart shape uh, sign this is the this is the path that defines the heart you can see the very very long path so this is the path that defines the uh, the heart uh, shape all right so we have that then uh, next is we are going to make use of a stack layout. That stack layout is going to contain, contain it's going to be in the second row, and that stack layout is going to contain uh, our item. So I'm going to bring all this uh, to the screen so that I can see. So we have a stack layout. Inside the stack layout, we have the image. So we have the parent stack layout. We have uh, the image. Uh, then we now have another stack layout that contains the name, the model, the price. Then we also have another stack layout that contains the rating, the parts of the rate, the, the star. And we have the high icon and the views. We have a label setting to the views. And this is the part that defines the, the star. So see, the small size. So let's save this. As you can see, we have our item. This is the image. This, this, this is the stack layout, the first stack layout that contains the, the name, model, and price. We have another stack layout, horizontal, that contains the rating, the star, the high icon, and the view, views, number of views. All right, so you can see that this is taking shape. Now, in order to now have our trapezium. Uh, shape, what we want to do is at this part, we want to clip our grid. Let's say grid.clip. And inside here, we want to clip it to a path geometry. And uh, this path geometry, the only thing we need to set is the figures. So, how do you get the figures out? So, if you come here, so if you, you can save this this trapezium as, as PNG and get the data out or oh, this is Figma I can copy this as SVG open a new notepad and paste this in now this is the part I can copy this part now and set it in our figures I just put this in the figures and uh, then save As you can see, our grid has been clipped into uh, the figure. All right, so the last thing we want to do is to set this uh, menu. So in order to do that, I want to quickly create uh, a menu grid. Uh, it's a very simple grid. So I'm going to put it in, also put it in the parent grid. So this is the parent grid here. So right outside this grid, I'm going to paste this. So we have, what we have here is we have a grid that is, uh, let me remove, let me comment this part out so you can see. And uh, also remove this. And let me save. So if I click on here, yeah, this is not coming out. Um, okay. 
the this uh this is set to false so let me set this let me set this to true so you can see all right so this is our menu as you can see and uh what we want to do is also clip this menu to a different shape and that's what we are doing here this menu view this is this stripe here we want to clip this uh to a a, a shape so if I uncomment this now, this is the figures just like we did for our trapezium. This is the figure, and if I save now, you see that our our view has been clipped into this uh, shape. All right, so I'm going to set this back to false. And uh, also set the uh, translation here is trans, uh, transition x here yeah, back to minus minus 260 and save so what we want to do is we want to undo this uh click when you click on this that is when we want that to come out so i'm going to stop this first i'm going to uh put the definition of this overlay so we need two methods we need a first method to show the the open the, the menu and the uh second method to close the menu so right up here i have two methods very simple methods uh the first thing is when you want to open the menu set the main grid to is visible i want to animate it so we need an action callback we're using lambda expression to set this uh transition x and put it inside this input and this callback is passed to our animate method so you can see the animate method needs a uh, name, a callback, uh, the start, end, uh, the rate, and the length, and the easing. So that's what we have here. The same thing with the closed menu. We have this. This is, like, this is the reverse of this. This is starting at minus 120. That's the translation x. From minus 120 to 0. This is from 0 to minus 120. And lastly, when you click on the uh, menu, icon we want to open the tab the menu when you click on close and you tap on the uh overlay you want it to close and this is the overlay you can see the overlay here this is this uh box view this box view right here this is the menu overlay and we're setting the tab right here so if we run this now if we able to tap on our menu and see it and also tap on it or tap on the overlay for it to close All right, so we have our view here. So let's click on, uh, let's tap on this and see that we have our menu coming out. We tap outside, it goes out. Tap again, it goes out. It goes off. All right, guys, so that is how to do this. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up. And also don't forget to share on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all other social media. And if you have, this is the first time, don't forget to subscribe so it's, and turn on your notification so that you don't miss any other contents like this. Alright guys, thank you very much, I'll see you in the next video.